The chief of the Fed staff, General Christopher Musa, on Wednesday said military takeovers of government in West African countries have continued to negatively threaten democratic values in the region. The defense chief stated these at the opening of the 42nd Ordinary Meeting of the ECOWAS Committee of Chiefs of the Fed staff in Abuja. The ongoing nationwide protest with its accompanying violence has continued to threaten Nigeria's 25th year of democratic rule. The dimension that involves the wavering of foreign nations flags during the protest may have pointed out that foreign intervention is imminent and so the nation's sovereignty is being threatened. The recent event brought together top military leaders from West Africa to address the region's pressing security concerns. Speaking, the Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, said the threat of military coups in the West African sub-region must be eradicated as it negates the core responsibility of the military profession. Meanwhile, the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, emphasized the significance of collective effort in combating terrorism, cross-border crimes, and hybrid threat, stressing the need for enhanced regional security cooperation to safeguard nations and promote sustainable development. Let me remind us all that the security landscape of West Africa is presently marked by both complex challenges and opportunities for cooperation. Accordingly, joint efforts towards countering terrorism, managing cross-border crimes, hybrid threats, as well as enhancing regional security are vital to supplying our nations and promoting sustainable development. The 42nd Ordinary Meeting would help to prevent coups and ensure peace and sustainable development for citizens in the West African region.